back to another vlog it is Wednesday today and I just came back from my spin class I did 17 miles and if it looks like I'm sweating it's because I am because this class was really intense today plus it's hot out so it was really intense and I sweat a lot I also put my hair in these braids and I really like them I'm gonna try and do um, the braids with extensions because I feel like that would look a lot better like a thick full braid on each side but anyway <clears throat> I also got a really bad cough after spin. I think I'm just like out of shape. But I went to TJ Maxx right after spin class and I wanted to show you what I picked up because I'm literally in love with these items. So let okay, me Okay, so I got a few things at TJ Maxx. The first thing, I'm obsessed with this. This is a Calvin Klein bag and I've been wanting one of these little backpacks just because I've, I've been seeing a lot of people wearing them and I think they're so cute. And also to take to spin class and I don't know, just to like travel with. I want this instead of like a purse. So I got this, I think it's the perfect size and I like the color of it. It's a nice brown. I don't really have any brown purses or anything. So I got this and it has the gold detailing and a couple of different zippers. I just think it's adorable. Ooh, and it has a pouch right there too. I think this is so cute. So I'm very happy with this purchase. It was a little pricey for TJ Maxx, but it is Calvin Klein. So it was $80, but it compared to, let's see, I think it said $100, $112. So I still think that's a really good deal. And I've been wanting like a bag like this for a while now. So I got that. I also got sandals because if you guys know, I don't have any sandals. I've been wearing my Nike sandals everywhere. For some reason when I moved, all of my sandals disappeared. So I got these and these are Jessica Simpson. I thought these were really pretty and it kind of matches the bag. So I got those. And then I also got these in the checkout area. These are just milk chocolate covered raisins. I don't know, it was tempting, so I got them. And then I got another mug, even though I do not need any more. It just says, make it happen, and I thought it was inspirational, and I liked the color of it, and it was only $2.99. So that's what I picked up at TJ Maxx. Now I'm going to make my protein pancakes, shower, and film a couple of videos today. Hi guys, so it's a couple of hours later, and I decided that I'm gonna do a little get ready with me, just because, why not? I've been wearing a very like summer glowy natural look recently and a lot of you have been asking me what I'm wearing for skincare and what foundation I've been wearing so I decided to do a little mini get ready with me while drinking my water because I think I'm dehydrated today and I did spin so I should really drink more anyway so I'm gonna start off with taking this new milk makeup toner stick this is the matcha toner and this says it is supposed to prep skin post cleansing for purified pores and smooth hydrated skin. Matcha green tea, kombucha, and witch hazel tone and tighten skin. Organic pear cactus elixir hydrates and calms the skin. So I've only tried this a couple of times now. And you will see this in an um, upcoming What's New at Sephora haul. So it's just green and I'm just going to rub this on my skin. It feels really cooling. My back, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but I burned my back. Oh yeah, and I have a tag on this. I burned my back yesterday by laying out. But it actually looks a lot more tan today than burned. And I also went to the dermatologist and I found out that I have eczema like on my eyes and going onto my face. So I have to pick up a prescription for that. There's so many things wrong with me. Okay, so after I do that, I'm gonna go in with a moisturizer, and I'm going in with the one that I've been using. It's the Kate Somerville Goat Milk. I love this stuff. I've noticed a difference in my skin since using this, and I use it two times a day. So it's so annoying when you have like eczema because it's like dry patches. Or it could be psoriasis, but she said eczema. Okay, I'm also gonna do an eye cream because I didn't do one earlier. So this is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Eye Cream. They say you're supposed to do your uh, ring finger, 
I don't like doing that because I feel like I don't have control over my ring finger. So I'll just do my middle finger. I've been recently using my Dr. Brandt Pores No More because this stuff is amazing. So I just put a little bit and then I pat it into my skin. If you can hear my dryer in the background, I'm sorry. Or my dishwasher because I'm doing dishes and laundry. Okay, now I'm gonna use my new Tarte foundation stick. This is the clay foundation stick from Tarte. I have the shade light medium neutral. I feel like I'm gonna have to get a darker shade soon because actually I just ordered a darker shade. Side note, I ordered medium neutral because light medium neutral is probably gonna be too light for me. I'm already a little bit tan, but I think this is a good color for me right now. Now I do like this foundation, but it's not as full coverage as I thought it was going to be. Do any of you have any fun summer plans? Because I sure don't. I wish I did, but I'm not doing anything fun. There was going to be a festival this weekend, and it's called the Wine, Cheese, and Chocolate Festival, which is three things that I love. But tickets sold out like three months ago. And I went to go to get tickets three months ago, and it was sold out already. So kind of disappointed because it was the second year in a row that I really wanted to go. But... Hopefully something else fun will happen this summer. Um, but as of right now, there is no plans for the summer. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my two Tarte Shape Tapes. I have light medium, which is kind of like the same skin color as me. I have a hair. I like to put this lower, and then I'll go in with my lighter one, which is in light neutral, and just brighten up underneath the eyes a little bit. This clip is going to be super long, so if you want to fast forward through this, feel free, my friends. I'm going to take this mini It Cosmetics. Just kidding. Is it It Cosmetics? No. I'm going to take this mini Real Techniques sponge and just blend this in. And this is not dampened. And I found that when I dampen my sponges and blend my foundation or concealer, it leaves my other like foundation patchy because it's almost too wet. Okay, now with summer coming, I like to use like a lot of cream products. I'm gonna go in with my NARS Liquid Laguna and I'm just gonna take this and put a little on each side. And I usually blend this in with a sponge, but today let's try something different. Should we try this? Let's try it. I'm, like scared. Not bad. Okay, now that we bronze the face, I'm gonna go in with my new NARS liquid blush, and this is an orgasm. They recently came out with a couple of new liquid blushes, and I decided to pick mine up in orgasm. I'm gonna shake it up. Now, what should I apply this with? Whoa, I didn't think it was gonna be like that. It's like a... Is this how it's supposed to be? Like a stick like that? That's weird. I don't know if I like that. This looks really pink. You see how pink that is on my cheeks? It's pretty, but it's really pink. I don't think I'm used to wearing like a pink blush like this, but it is pretty. Okay, and now for a highlight. I've been using a lot lately the Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive highlighter. I do have a 30% off coupon. You do not have to use it, but these are some of the best highlighters that I've ever, I've, oh, I can't even talk. These are some of the best highlighters that I've ever used. Maybe you shouldn't take my advice because I can't even speak. All right, so I've just been applying this on my nose. Okay, that's pretty much it for my face. I think I'm gonna do my eye makeup off camera just because this clip is so long, but I will show you what the finished look looks like after I am done. Okay, so this is the finished look. If you're wondering what's on my lips, it's the Pretty Vulgar Lipstick in Bury Them With A Smile. Prim and Proper, that's the name. So I'm wearing this, 
but I might add a little bit of gloss in the middle. This one is Kimberly by Buxom. So just in the middle, I'm gonna add this. I'm actually getting my lips done tomorrow, but I don't think it's even gonna be noticeable because there's only like a tiny bit left in the vial. Okay, so this is the finished look. It is very light and summery, and yeah, this is how I get this. <laughs> okay, I am going to probably relax for the rest of the day, maybe film a video, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, so today is Friday, and me and Scott are going camping. It's definitely gonna rain this whole weekend though, so hopefully it doesn't, but I think it's going to rain the entire time that we're camping. But I wanted to show you what I am packing for camping. I also got my lips done yesterday, just a little bit, because there was only a little bit left in the syringe. But I just like love the way they look when they're like, nice and full. Anyways, let me show you what I am bringing. So this is my little setup. There's Puffin. He's staying with his grandparents this oh. weekend. Yeah. You are. <laughs> and he's getting groomed on Monday. But starting over here, I'm bringing a little bit of makeup. Nothing too crazy, in my opinion. Maybe you'll think it's crazy. But the California, the Tarte concealers, I have two shades. I'm bringing a little primer, Pores No More. I have my Too Faced bronzer. Puffin, what are you doing? I have my Tarte foundation stick. Um, Jack Black lip balm. Tarte mascara. Uh, my birth control, Ofra highlighter, and my it Cosmetics CC Cream. So that is what I'm bringing. I personally think it's more natural. It's, this is what I'm wearing today. So it's just CC Cream, bronzer, highlighter, brows, and mascara. And I don't have anything on my lips. I don't know if I'm going to bring anything for my lips, but we'll see. Anyways, so I'm also bringing this spray because it smells really good, Exotic Bloom. I'm bringing these giant playing cards because I thought maybe that would be fun. Tomorrow I'm going to wear these leggings from Victoria's Secret. I'm wearing the blue ones right now. I'm bringing the green ones, this sports bra, and a black tee. bringing my glasses, sweatshirt, short sleeve, long sleeve, pajama pants, romper, shorts, underwear, and then long sleeve and leggings. And then I'm packing it all in this. Usually I bring like a bigger bag, but I feel like I'd rather be a little bit minimalistic this weekend. So I'm going to try and fit everything in here. And yes. And then on Sunday we have to come back like super early because I have to work at 1230, which is also Father's Day. So hopefully I can see my dad. Oh, and I'm also bringing this. The Tarte deodorant too, because i got to bring this. So yeah, that is everything that, that I am packing. Um, Scott's showering. I'm going to do my hair and then I'll put it in a braid probably tomorrow But I'll talk to you guys once we are on the road. Hi guys. So we just went a couple of different places before We're finally heading out going camping. It took a little while When you go camping you just think of all these places and all these things that you need So We got a new tent. We got some food um, I wanted to show you what I got at Target because I just went and I will hold you here for a second so you do not fall. So I found the Kodiak Cakes Protein Pack Chocolate. My Target never has this. I thought I was going to have to order this online for $18 but my Target had it. Well, good so, thing you didn't do that. Yeah, good thing I didn't. So this is dark chocolate and I do not like dark chocolate but I heard these were like really, really good. So I got those. Also, toothbrush. Also, makeup wipes. Also, tomorrow morning, gonna be drinking this. This is the Calafia Farms Cold Brew in salted caramel. And then for the road, because I'm literally starving, and it's, it's three o'clock and I'm starving. So I got this buffalo style chicken these little wraps. Now I've had these before and they're not that good. But I haven't had this kind, so I'm hoping I'm hoping it's good. And it's kind of looking dark outside. 
hopefully the weather changes. Yeah, hopefully it changes. Don't know if it will, but we shall see. But I am so excited that I got these. Like, super, super excited. I kind of look shiny. Babe, what did you get? A protein cookie? Mm-hmm. Mmm, snickerdoodle. Oh, and I, I don't think I showed you this, but look at this. I got Buff Bake Protein Cookie and Birthday Cake. This, ooh, the packaging looks so good and hopefully it tastes good. So now we're heading to the campsite. I will show you guys once we are all set up. And hopefully it's not raining because then I can't vlog. We'll see you once we're there. Hi guys, so today is day two of camping. We came last night, it took us four and a half hours to get here when it was only supposed to take us less than two, but traffic was really bad and it kept on redirecting us, so it took us four and a half hours to get here. We finally got here and it was downpouring the entire night. We set up camp in the rain, it was lightly raining at that point, but um, rain pretty much the entire night. Then we get into bed and there's a huge puddle of water in our tent. And then I finally get into bed and um, there was a big black beetle crawling on me. And if you guys know me, you know that I don't like feeling dirty, I don't like feeling wet, and I hate bugs. So, this camping trip has not been the best for me personally. I do enjoy camping at times um, when it's like sunny and we're going on hikes and it's just... You know, it's better when it's good weather and there aren't so many bugs, but this one's been a little bit rough for me. Hi guys, so it is Sunday, it's Father's Day, and I told you guys I probably wouldn't vlog that much, and I was correct. So, Why is that? <laughs> because babe, I just didn't vlog that much. Someone was grumpy. No, I wasn't grumpy. We, I just figured your dad wouldn't want to be vlogged, am I right? Yeah. All right. All right, so we just went to Kohl's and I got my dad a gift card to Kohl's because he likes shopping there. <laughs> and then can you open up that second box okay, for so me? So these are all the treats that I got my dad and they're all chocolate cupcakes and they're like peanut butter dream and chocolate mousse and I don't know what else and Oreo and graham cracker and s'mores. Okay, hi guys. It is Monday and I think last time I talked to you was when I got cupcakes for my dad, but it is Monday. I got my hair done today. It's currently wet because I put some dish soap in it to try and um, get the ashiness out a little bit. Puffin also got groomed. He's back here. He's a little, hi. He's a little baby. He's super tiny, but I wanted to do like a mini declutter again. And I also wanted to show you two candles that I got from Bath and Body Works. So one of the candles that I got the other day, I didn't end up liking. Can you hear that lawnmower? That's so annoying. So this first one I got is Paris Cafe. And Maddie actually recommended this. It smells so good. It smells like coffee. So it's coffee, sugared brioche, and vanilla cream. Yum. And then I also got this one. It is white peach. Which this one smells really good too. So I got these two. I think they used to have this one in Market Peach. And that was my very first Bath and Body Works candle. So yeah. I got these two and I love them. But I'm just going through some of my lip products. Because I do not use all of these. And I just wanted to declutter them. Because it's a little overwhelming. Especially when you don't use all of them. So, so far. Um, where'd they go? Oh, so far I'm getting rid of these two. But I only went through a few. So let's try and go through some of them together. It's not going to be a whole big thing. Rush from Urban Decay. Definitely one of my favorites. But I thought I got it in a newer packaging. Maybe I didn't. This is such a pretty color. I'm going to keep this. It's going to be hard for me. Also, what is this? Sugared cookie. This seems a little bit bright. I'm going to get rid of this. Sugared cookie, it's just too bright for me. Ofra and Mocha, one of my favorites. This is like such a pretty nude, like a brownie nude. Love that one, I'm gonna keep that. Um, liquid cat suit, what is this, wet and wild. Give me Mocha. I think this one, I don't love, no. This is more like of a red brown and I'm not feeling it, so. And I get that, get rid of that one. 
Maple Blondie used to be my favorite. Huh, it's a little like too fluorescent. Plus I think I've had this for too long, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Thistle from Bite Beauty. Yes, honey. It's like a grayish brown. I'm gonna keep that. Oh shit. I'm gonna keep that. Um, Meringue by NYX. It's really pretty. I don't know, maybe. Then I also have Strawberry Parfait. Ooh, these always smell really good. Maybe I'll keep Strawberry Parfait. I'll get rid of Meringue. And let's see. This one, I have two meringues. Okay, what's the point of that? I have two meringues. Maybe I'll keep one. And then I also have Eclair. Oh, I think I like Eclair. I'm going to keep Eclair. And I have a makeup remover somewhere, but I'm not at a room yet. This next one I have, NYX, is Madeline. Ooh, that's a really pretty nude. We'll be keeping that. I have Sephora Collection number 13. If you don't have this, if you don't own it, you need it. Just gonna tell you that because this is like such a pretty pinky. It's actually, I feel like a dupe for like Lolita. That is so pretty. It's only 13 or $14. I shall be keeping that. I have a Wet n Wild one here, Berry Recognize. I think this one was too, whoa, too dark for me. We're getting rid of it. Next, I have Bunny Brown. I think I got this at um, iMats. Look at that color. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep this. I don't wear it too often, like ever, but I'm going to try to. Then I have this one from Buxom. Oh, I think the mailman's here. Or maybe it's the trash guy. Then I also have this gloss from Glow Minerals. And let's take a look. Ooh, it's actually pretty. I didn't think I was gonna like it. Peachy. Okay, I'll keep it. And then, I'm only gonna do a couple more because this clip is super long. I have Lovecraft. Ooh, -hoo. yes. Absolutely keeping Lovecraft. That one's so pretty. Then, this one's Smashbox. Always on liquid lipstick in the shade Stepping Out. I need to wear this more. That is really, really nice. Love that. Definitely have to wear that more though. Okay, let's do, a, let's do two more. I'll do these two. So I have a NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Funnel Delight. Whoa! Can you see me ever wearing that? Probably not but maybe I should keep it and be different because all the rest of my hand looks the same. So I think I'm going to keep that one. And then this one, a Lorac lip gloss. I think my friend Michelle got this for me. Ooh, that is pretty. Why haven't I worn that? Oh, snap. I think that would be really pretty over Thistle from Bite Beauty. Okay, that's all I'm going to do right now, but so far... So good. If you guys want to see more of like declutters, then let me know. But this is what I'm getting rid of. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to go through all of this on my own time for now. Just because this clip is super long. But I will talk to you guys in a little Baby. bit. Teddy got groomed. He's so cute and tiny. Look at those ears. <laughs> Hi, baby. I'm going to show them what I got at the grocery store, okay? All right. Okay, so I just got back from spin class. I did 18 and a half miles, pretty good. Um, let's see, 6,771 steps. I burned like 1,400 calories, it was great. But I got from the grocery store, pulled pork and pineapple flatbread. Oh, hey, oh, oh, be careful, Teddy. Oh my God, slow down. All right, let me move these bags so you don't kill yourself. Do you have the bear? Get the bear. Get that bear. Don't mind this, I have to clean. Get it. Okay, and then I also got watermelon, I got bananas, I got Annie's Alfredo shells and cheddar, 
Annie's um, fruit tape. I got two of these watermelon drinks. They're basically cold pressed watermelon. Uh, they're like $3 each. So I think next time I'm just gonna buy my own watermelon and make juices out of it. But I also got um, Bolt House Sea Boost, vanilla chai tea. I got waters for me and Scott. And then I got um, these two bars. So that's my little grocery haul. I'm like out of breath right now. I'm gonna edit this vlog because I think it's a long one. So I will see you guys all on Thursday.